good morning dear students how are you i hope you must have enjoyed your weekends dear children as you know that we have completed chapter number 1 now it's time to evaluate ourselves okay so there will be class test of chapter 1 on thursday so prepare it for the class test all the best now in today's session we are going to learn some new words it's chapter number 2 mayura the peacock it's very good story but before reading the chapter we must understand some new words okay so today we will learn some new words and their meanings and tomorrow we will read the chapter understood okay children so let's begin the session the first word is admiring it is spelled as a d m i r i n g in other words we can say appreciating the second word is plumage in other words we can say feathers of a bird the third word is maintaining it is spelled as m e i n t a i n i n g in other words we can say continuing to look after something the next word is reasoned it is spelled as r e a s o n e t in other words we can say give suitable reason about something the next word it shrut it it is spelled as s t r u double t e d in other words we can say to walk in a proud way with one's back straight and head up like this the next word is gazed it is spelled as g a z e d in other words we can say stared or looked fixedly the next word is exclaim it is spelled as e x c l a i m in other words we can say to shout in excitement or happiness the next word is preenings it is spelled as p r e e e n i n g or we can say cleaning the feathers with the beak the next word is handsome it is spelled as h a n d s o m e handsome in other words we can say good looking the next word is water polo w a t e r water p o l o polo it's a game played in water with a ball the next word is flattened it is spelled as f l a t t e n e d in other words we can say the thing which became flat the next word is accidentally it is spelled as a double c i d e n t a double l y in other words we can say by chance the next word is astonishment it is spelled as a s t o n i s h m e n t which means surprise the next word is whiz whiz it is spelled as w h i z in other words we can say to move quickly through the air with a whistling or buzzing sound the next word is slid it is spelled as s l i d in other words we can say slipped s l i d p p e d so children that's all for today thank you so much have a nice day see you in tomorrow session bye bye